Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey all, welcome back to another video. This time it's going to be a tutorial again for art foamies. And you know I am in their design team, so I have planned for this mixed media piece to use the stamp from Lisa Walton. They do also have stencils, so that's what I also have planned to use. Besides that, you can see here on the side I have some watercolors. Those happen to be Jane Davenport, any watercolors will work. I probably gonna use the soft pastels. I also have some water soluble pens like a Tombow or a Koi or the Aqua Spectrum or as long as they are water soluble. I also have planned on using some Prismacolors for shading the face which we gonna which I gonna do. And uh, I also have um, a stump to spread the graphite a little bit. I have sketched the face with a 3B graphite pencil from Marabu. Any B graphite pencil would work. You can see here I have already prepped my gesso. So with no further ado, I'm gonna make me some room and I'm gonna start right in. It's gonna be most of the time time lapse, but I will step in with explanations. By the way, I'm working on a heavy watercolor paper. It's about 140 pounds or 300, and 300 gram per square meter. And the size is nine by nine inches or 23 by 23 centimeters. As usual, those are approximately measurements. I guess you probably can. Oh, yeah, here you can see it a little bit. That's what I have with the gesso so far. So now, while I was cleaning my cosmetic sponge and the stencil, the gesso had time to dry. What I'm going to use is a paper stamp now. I want to add some shading and most of the time I have my light coming from this side. That means I have darker here I also have here more under the neck on this side but I'm still gonna have a little bit here and it is a whimsical not a really a realistic face but I still want to make it somewhat believable so under the crown there is shadow, so I have some shade in here too. And then also the part here is goes in. We have the little thingy here over the lips, I don't never know how what it is called like. also something going on here sometimes we have like I also gonna add a little bit of purple as a shadow with the Prismacolor pencils which are not water soluble Also adding a little bit of turquoise. Gonna add a little bit for the eyes. My next step is adding some acrylic paint to the face. 
I do leave out the eyes, but I go over the whole rest. So now I'm gonna go on a little bit on the background. Um, I'm gonna start with a light wash of a turquoise with a lot of water. Now for the top, the t-shirt, whatever she wears, I'm thinking about magenta. Now I want to stamp with this stamp but I want to use watercolors so uh, it's going to be a distressed look obviously so I'm simply going to paint my stamp I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.